2017 Le Mans winner Brendan Hartley will replace Pierre Gasly at Toro Rosso for this weekend's United States Grand Prix. The New Zealander, who is fighting for a second title with Porsche in the World Endurance Championship, was chosen with few options open to Red Bull and Gasly away to seal the Super Formula crown in Japan. Incredibly, Hartley is a Red Bull reject. The 27-year-old dropped from the junior team back in 2010, his fifth year on the program. The Kiwi is only now making his F1 debut, despite holding various test roles for Red Bull Racing and Toro Rosso between 2008 and 2010, and then with Mercedes in 2012 and 2013. Hartley is set to become the first New Zealander to race in F1 for 33 years, dating back to Mike Thackwell at the 1984 Canadian Grand Prix. Two-time Formula One world champion Fernando Alonso is set to re-sign with McLaren, with executive director Zach Brown saying a positive announcement is expected soon. The length of the contract is not yet known, but it's understood the squad's switch from Honda to Renault power units from 2018 was a key factor in retaining his services. Alonso fed up after three fruitless seasons with the Japanese manufacturer. The last straw allegedly his failed Indy 500 attempt, when his engine gave up 21 laps from the checkered flag. The Spaniard enjoying 27 laps at the front, which he hadn't done in F1 since 2013. I know that uh, I can be as quick as anyone in an F1 car. Um, I didn't know if I can be as quick as anyone in an Indy car. And uh, it, was, it was nice to have this competitive uh, feeling. Alonso and confirmed teammate Stoffel van Dorn will ensure McLaren has stability as it switches power units. Rotterdam, the Netherlands' second biggest city and Europe's largest port, could be set to satisfy Max Verstappen mania, with the revival of the Dutch Grand Prix a major priority for the sport. The city, with a local population of over 600,000, has long hosted F1 demonstration runs, but could be set for its own street track, capitalizing on interest in Verstappen, with 80,000 alone traveling to Belgium to see their man last just eight laps before his power unit expired. It was previously thought the Dutch event would need to be held at the Zandvoort permanent circuit near Amsterdam, which has held all 30 races in the Netherlands between 1952 and 1985. But F1 Managing Director of Commercial Operations, Sean Bratches, is said to be keen on a street race in either Rotterdam or Amsterdam, despite local government officials downplaying the possibility. Verstappen has had plenty of media attention this year, given his seven DNFs from 16 starts, but the 20-year-old has stayed cool, winning in Malaysia and challenging Mercedes Lewis Hamilton for the lead in Japan. For me, the most important thing is just to, to deliver on the track, and uh, that's where, uh, where I'm focusing on. Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel has finally admitted he let the team down with his road rage during this year's Azerbaijan Grand Prix. The four-time F1 world champion has been heavily criticized for the dramatic Baku incident in which he intentionally crashed into race leader Mercedes Lewis Hamilton, who he thought had brake tested him under the safety car on lap 19. But he's since confessed it's so far the low point of his season, eclipsing even the start line crash in Singapore that left his title hopes in tatters. I felt I let the team down because something that I did obviously cost a race win potentially, Vettel said. The German must win all four remaining Grands Prix and hope that Hamilton hits major reliability issues for a chance of securing a fifth crown. Spanish young gun Carlos Sainz has been settling into his new surroundings at Renault, with the first images of the 23-year-old in Renault colors released by the team in the lead-up to the United States Grand Prix. Sainz left Toro Rosso after Japan, which was his 56th race start for the team. Its second biggest tally after Frenchman Jean-Éric Verne, who is on 58. The Spaniard, though, remains the outfit's biggest point scorer, with 112 to his name, 
accelerated by changes to the point system for 2010. American team Haas is hoping that changes at Renault and Toro Rosso will help it to cement seventh place in the Constructors' Championship. The squad, founded by machine tool magnate Jean Haas, overtook Renault for seventh at the last round in Japan. But Toro Rosso was the focus, nine points the gap with four races to go. We will work hard. We've got closer to Toro Rosso. The battle is not over in there, it just started in my opinion, said team principal Gunter Steiner. Haas's final update for the year will come this weekend in Austin, though Steiner admitted in Malaysia that it had long ago switched focus to 2018. TheInsideLine.com, for everything Formula One.